No one wants a rubbish tip in their backyard, especially one specialising in rotting meat. So residents of this small community are fuming that their own council has big plans for a mega dump. Hey council. Here's a tip. On a clear cool morning, there's one hot topic in the township of Huntley where Lynn's lived since... The 1st of <laughs> September 1963. There you go. So you are what they call a local. Nearly. <laughs> Lynn and her fellow residents thought they'd seen it all, but a new plan to dump an organic waste tip in Huntley has every woman, man and his dog talking. You've got dust, you've got odour, you've got biohazards. We're not saying we don't need this facility, but not right in the middle of all farming and housing. The closest home to the proposed site is Adam Gills, who lives there with his wife Gemma and their four daughters. It stinks, yeah, and um, no consult, no nothing to say that they're going to put it there. So that's uh, very disappointing. Adam lives about a K up the road and often downwind from the spot where the proposed facility would take lawn clippings and leaves as well as uncooked food, fish, meat, bones and dog poo and turn it into compost. How would you feel if this facility was to go ahead? I wouldn't want to live here. <laughs> I know that already and I've lived in Huntley my whole life. Not this close to it, that's for sure. Huntley is on the outskirts of the Victorian Regional Centre of Bendigo, where the major transfer station hit its estimated capacity in 2023. Needing a new site, the City of Greater Bendigo approved this council-owned parcel of land in Huntley, which brings us to the next issue. The parcel is on the same block as another council asset, the Bendigo Livestock Exchange. It's known as one of the major sheep and lamb selling centres in Australia. It sort of indirectly employs around three, four hundred people. Glenn Ray from McKean McGregor is a livestock agent and auctioneer. Glenn explains that those trading here sign a declaration to say their sheep haven't consumed any animal byproducts, a biosecurity rule that Glenn says could be jeopardised by having organic waste nearby. Well, the potential of a bird picking it up, a dog or a fox, of bringing a ruminant across here that's found in the ruminant of an animal, well, it could actually, a farmer could end up being liable for a shipment of meat costing him a million, two million insurance, or um, it could really affect the whole biosecurity of our industry and our brand that we have as Australians as a really clean, green product to go overseas. Not to mention the smell. It would be horrendous. The easiest way to manage it around risk is not to have it here in the first place. Opposition to the plan is gaining traction with locals like Dustin and Ashley who own land opposite the proposed site. We don't want to expose our children to anything that, that is not good for them. They enjoy their time down here, we enjoy our time down here and we, we won't be able to enjoy that anymore if, if something like this is to go ahead. The young parents are in business with their friends Kez and Bluey, raising Red Angus and Highland cattle. The huge amount of litter and that that leaves these sites would all come straight onto our land, contaminate our water, so would sort of render the land useless for us. On the other side of the sale yards is the Whipstick Forest. And that's all bushland. Um, the compost facility comes with really high fire danger risks. So if there was a fire to break out at the compost facility, then it's going to spread into the bush and that's just going to go up in flames. The city of Greater Bendigo says the Huntley site was selected as it is appropriately zoned with generous buffers, but not as generously buffered as other tips. This gives you an idea of what the tip will look like. A tunnel processing plant that spits out windrows, long piles of compost material. This is a tip run by Western Composting Technology, the same company the city of Bendigo is working with. But the difference here is that this site in Shepparton, Victoria, lies out of town, isolated and next to a sewerage plant. Compare that to Huntley, where the council wants to put it right next to the sale yards. Meanwhile, Adam has done his homework and fears there's some more hidden nasties that could end up on his doorstep. In the actual permit, there's a section where they can bring abattoir waste in, which is noted that it'd be an abattoir from Geelong, which would be bringing their waste up to be processed through this plant. And we don't know exactly what part of the abattoir processes we're going to end up with. Speaking of the permit, as part of the application process, a notice must be posted to let locals know they can object. 
But if you thought that notice may have gone up near the main entrance to the site, you'd be wrong. We did locate the sign eventually, but it took some searching. Come with me. It's almost as if they didn't want you to find it. And there's a second sign even further from the gate, as Huntley locals ask council to rethink the plan altogether. Go somewhere else, find somewhere else, and I'd be a lot happier. For its part, the company says risks to health and the environment are low. Its proposed tip still has to be approved by the Environment Protection Agency, so we'll see how it goes.